The Hawkesbury River is a long way from home for these two CSIRO scientists who've travelled all the way from Hobart. This is what's brought them here, their very own yellow submarine, one with a very special purpose. Today we're doing some uh, testing with an experimental submarine. What we're trying to do is basically use our new technology um, to look at the sediments in the Hawkesbury River and um, see how that complements the existing way that uh, the Hornsby Shark Council has been doing measurements, see if we can provide a, a more reliable and cheaper way of doing it so that the river system can be monitored at, at a higher frequency. So what can the submarine actually test for? Uh, salinity, dissolved oxygen, temperature, acidity, turbidity, spectrometry, fluorescence, we can do all of that with the vehicle. Hornsby Council's environmental scientists, who conduct their own regular tests, are more than happy for the extra assistance. I think this is a really innovative project. Um, this technology has never been outside the Derwent estuary of Tasmania. It's a first to see it on the mainland in, in Australia, to my understanding. Uh, we're very appreciative of CSIRO bringing their technology to the Hawkesbury and for uh, having a go. It will take some time for the full results to be compiled but the first snapshots are already revealing quite a bit about the river's current state of health. So what we're finding is that the sediment quality is about the same as what we, ex what we got as when we did the testing back in 2006, 2007. So basically areas that are good are remaining good, those areas that are poor are remaining uh, poor. So there's room for improvement in the poor areas and there's room to maintain current management practices in those areas that are coming up with good sediment quality which is good news for all of those who live, work and play on the Hawkesbury River.